Just moments ago, lawmakers introduced a new bipartisan proposal to reform the nation's immigration system as the crisis at the southern border persists. This morning, Republican Congresswoman Maria Salazar and Democratic Congresswoman Veronica Escobar detailed plans for their immigration bill addressing several different issues plaguing U.S. immigration policy. News Nation's Joe Khalil joins us live from D.C. with the latest on this. Joe, this is very comprehensive or a very comprehensive bill. It is. If you look at it, it's got all the pieces that you would hope and expect would be in some kind of bill like this, Marnie. But I can tell you that, you know, if you were skeptical about whether this effort is going to work, you would be forgiven for that skepticism. For nearly four decades now, Congress has been trying and failing to pass some kind of large immigration reform and border security package. However, these two uh, that we just heard from, I just left the press conference, they think this time could be different. We're talking about Maria Salazar, Republican from Florida, and Veronica Escobar, a Democrat from Texas, working together. They're calling this bill the Dignity Act. So before we go any further, let's give everyone a look at what actually would be included in this bill. It's two pieces, one border security, one immigration. On border security, it would enhance border barriers in certain places. In other words, parts of the wall. You'd have more border personnel at the wall as well and other ports of entry. Investment in border towns so that if they did need to deal with an influx of migrants, they would have the resources to do it. And enhanced counterterrorism vetting for everyone coming in, potentially applying for asylum. Now, part two, the immigration piece. This is where it may get trickier here. It does provide a legal status for people who are undocumented living in the United States, provided they would pay back some $5,000 uh, in tax payments. It would provide a pathway to citizenship for some people. So think dreamers, think uh, people who serve in the military, people who have been in the country for uh, a number of years without criminal records. Then there's asylum reform, largely what the Biden administration is already trying to do, and also guest worker reform. So think agricultural workers who may be here temporarily, working legally and then going back uh, to their countries. Now, Marnie, the question that I wanted to ask, and, and full disclosure here, I had to leave and get to this live shot, I didn't get to ask it yet, um, is have the incentives here on Capitol Hill changed? Now, the reason I ask that is because for years, it is a raw reality that uh, Democrats and Republicans alike have both used this issue politically, and they've been able to take advantage of the fight rather than the solution to this problem. And again, that is uh, on both sides. We've seen that. So now that Title 42 has expired, now that we have the situation at the southern border that we have, I wonder if that is going to be the thing that these lawmakers say, now the incentive structure changes and uh, more members are actually incentivized to do something about it rather than just fight about it. But again, this is an effort that has been tried for decades, so we will see whether or not this is different. I can tell you that at least these two members say the fact that they are one Republican, one Democrat working together on this, just that fact, they believe, makes this iteration of it different. And they say, frankly, we have no choice. We need to pass something like this because the country demands it. Marnie. All right, Joe, we'll cut you loose. Back to work. Go get an answer to those questions. We'll see you in a little while. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.